Wait, so Ruby, any new information on Corey's disappearance? As far as I know, Dr. Patience was made aware of the situation. He's looking into ways to bring Corey back. Yeah, I just hope he finds something soon. In that dimension we were in, we saw a version of you and Tommy dead. Uh, what? How? I think the SCP-507 from that dimension was the killer. He said he had to do it. Wow. I hope Corey is able to survive then. Yeah, me too. 507 is putting a lot of the blame on himself. Well, I guess all we can do for now is wait. Until then, we have to deal with this SCP. Oh, right. Which one was it again? Uh, SCP-082. He also goes by the name Fernand. I just say be careful. Oh, and remember, he's the King of France. Wait, the King of France is an SCP? No, uh, just follow me. Hey, why is that guard sleeping on the floor? Um, Iris, he's not sleeping. Oh. Oh, I beg your pardon? I didn't see the two of you down there. I was just having myself a delicious meal. Anyways, what can I do for you? Say, I don't believe I've had the pleasure of meeting either of you. You don't look like Connor. Y yeah, that's because we're not. Um, may I ask what's up with the clown makeup? Ah, I am so glad you asked. I was just about to perform at the theater until you two came along. I am curious, though. I thought only D-Class were allowed to visit the King of France. Yeah, and that's usually the case. But then we noticed that you kind of ate the guard right behind you, and we'd like to know why? Ah, uh, yes. You see, the D-Class from earlier was provoking me, so I got angry. And when the guard tried to intervene, I couldn't help myself to the both of them. Um, Fernand? Where is that D-Class? Yes, I've already finished consuming him. Oh, oh great! Um, sorry, but we're going to need to take that guard's body back with us. Oh, I'm sorry, but I simply cannot allow that. In fact, hmm, you look quite delicious right about now. Oh, thanks for the compliments, but not interested. I don't believe I was talking to you. I was talking to her. Um, Iris, maybe it's time we get going now. Wait, hold on. Hey, buddy, I could be tasty. Mmm, no, just the red-headed girl shall. Hold that thought, Fernand. I simply cannot allow you to eat Iris. She's my assistant. What? Are you referring to the blonde salty girl? I am not salty. I just wanted the redhead. Oh, anime girl? Yeah, you can have her. What? what Dr. Bright? Yes? Wait, hold on. Your name is also Dr. Bright? Why, of course. I have my doctorate and everything. You know how this story goes. Oh, then why am I wearing this? Here, you should take this necklace. Uh, wait, Dr. Bright. He's lying to you. It's one of the many lies he tells. Would he really do that, though? Would he really lie to a friend like that? Yeah, Fernand is kind of known for that. Hmm, well, leave this situation to me. All right. Ruby, let's get out of here. All this cannibal stuff is making me hungry. Uh, okay. So, Iris, you're Dr. Bright's assistant? Yep, 
At least on paper, that is. He says he's going to try to get me to go on mobile task force missions once the time is right. Mobile task force? But, but isn't that a bit dangerous? It is. And I know the risks that come with it. But I want to help SCPs and people alike. Hmm. If that's what you want to do, Iris, then I support you. Thanks, Ruby. It's the least I can do after what happened with O'Connor, Dr. Conwell, and Jason. Huh? Who's Jason? I don't think I've heard of him before. Eh, he was a longtime boyfriend of mine. He died and I was framed for his murder. If it wasn't for Conwell, well, I'd probably see myself either back in prison or as D-class. I'm so sorry to hear that, Iris. But I'm sure they all appreciate what you're doing for them. Thanks again. <laughs> Anyways, enough of the sob story. You want to grab a bite? Uh, no thanks. I was actually talking with Dr. Iceberg on ways we can retrieve Corey from wherever he is. Right. That is important. I'll let you be on your way then. Let me know if you find anything. Will do. See ya. Uh, Ruby? Hmm? Uh, oh. Hey, Emma. I heard about what happened with Corey. Oh, yeah. I hope he's doing okay. How long do you think he'll be stuck in there? Well, assuming he's able to survive in that dimension... I honestly don't know. It'll have to depend on when SCP-507 enters back into that dimension. R really You think that's the only way? It's the only way without having to draw out suspicion from any of the other O5 members. If we focus too hard on rescuing him, they'll start investigating us, and we can't have that. Um, right. Emma, if I may, what brought you here? Was it because of Corey's disappearance? To be honest with you, no. I was just, um, cleaning up some unfinished business. Oh. Does this unfinished business have to do with Agent O'Connor? <laughs> you know, Ruby, you probably shouldn't bring up such controversial topics. Well... Iris has been pretty upset the last few days over the death of her friend. She was really hurt by that. It's none of my business to say- You're right. It isn't any of your business, so maybe we should keep it that way. <sighs> right. Ruby, being an O5 comes with a lot of responsibility. I've done my fair share of terrible things to people I've cared about. People I've loved. All to get to where I am now. I did all this so I could become an O5 and help save the world. What? Why are you telling me all this? Because I want you to know, if I can sacrifice people I've loved, you can't imagine what I can do to someone I don't care about. I hope you keep this in mind next time we meet. Ah, uh, it was nice catching up with you, old friend. Likewise, Dr. Bright. I do have to say, maybe I should get rid of the guard body like I said I would. Oh, pish posh, leave that to me. I'll take care of it. R really? You do that? Of course. What are friends for? Huh? Ew. Ugh, gross. Hey, what's it taste like? Ah, it tastes refreshing. I simply must have more. Ah, uh, oh boy, look at the time. I wish I could stay, but I don't want to get eaten. Ah, oh, I'm afraid I cannot let you do that. Ah, uh, look, you've already eaten me once before. Can't we just call this a draw? Is that any way to talk to the King of France? Uh, no. That's what I thought. Now get over here! No! It's my meat! Get away! I do say, I love a good chase. I promise it won't hurt. Ah! 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 Mm, Alright, let's just call it a truce. Truce? Look what you did! You broke the wall! 
Meh, well, they don't call me the Incredible Hulk for nothing. Yeah, nobody calls you that. Now, let's see if there's another SCP here. Ugh. It's, uh, uh, it's Banana Zella! 